welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Christmas party makeup tutorial. I decided I wanted to create a look that was perfect to wear on Christmas Eve and this is what I came up with. Of course, I paired it with a red lip and I decided to go for a golden coppery eye. I also used my Violet Vols Holy Grail palette because I had been getting a lot of requests to use this palette so I decided to combine the two and create a Christmas tutorial using this one. So this is the look I came up with. I hope you really enjoyed this look. I hope you have an amazing Christmas. And if you like this video then definitely don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you are notified whenever I post new videos. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get on to the tutorial. To start off this look, I'm going to apply some primer. This is the Catrice Prime and Fine Beautifying Primer. I really want to start trying a new one, guys, so if you have any suggestions, leave it down below in the comments. Then for foundation, I use my Catrice Nude Illusion Foundation, and I am in the shade Nude Ivory. And to apply it, I use my Beauty Blender. And then it was time to apply some concealer. I used a mixture of the LA Girl HD Pro Concealer in the shade Natural. And then I also applied some of the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Age high coverage concealer in the shade porcelain and I applied it underneath my eyes on top of the LA Girl concealer but also on the center of my face. I really love the finish of the Catrice concealer but it has very light coverage which is why I decided to mix both of them. And again to blend this into my skin I used the same damn beauty blender I used for my foundation. Then to set underneath my eyes I used my RCMA translucent powders. But before applying the powder I used my beauty blender to make sure I have no creases. And then to set my foundation in place, I used the Bye Bye Pores by It Cosmetics, the pressed powder. But then I decided to bake my laugh lines and also my chin and right between my eyebrows because those are the places my uh, foundation tends to crease throughout the day. And then it was time to apply my contour. I used my Makeup Geek contour powder in the shade Infidelity and again applied it on the usual areas. I know it looks very weird with the bakeage that's going on on my face, but try to ignore it. Then it was time to bronze up my skin and for this I used my Too Faced Sweetheart Bronzers in the shade Sweet Tea. And then I noticed I forgot to contour my nose so I'm doing it very quickly. Then to clean up my contour I applied a little bit more of the RCMA translucent powder and I'm also going to let it sit there for a couple of minutes. Then I went in with some blush. I used the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso, which is a cold favorite and it had been a while since I busted it out, so I decided to use it in this tutorial. Then for highlight, I used my all-time favorite, which is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, pressed in the shade Opal. This is definitely my favorite highlighter ever. I love the undertone it has and the formula is amazing. And then it was time to brush off all of the excess powder. Then to fill in my brows, I busted out an oldie but a goodie. I used my Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Proof Brow Mousse in the shade Ash Blonde. And if you've been following me for a, for a while now, I cannot talk today. Um, this has been my favorite for, I don't know, over a year I think. But I've been using the Colourpop one more than this one, but it is still one of my favorites. Then as always to set my brows in place, I use my Essence Make Me Brows in the shade Soft Brownie Brows. Then to prime my eyelids for eyeshadow, I applied some of the Milani Eyeshadow Primer and this is in the shade Nude. For eyeshadow today, I use my Violet Voss Holy Grail Eyeshadow Palette which is such an amazing palette and I started off by using the shade Thanks A Latte to set my eyeshadow primer in place. Then as my transition shade, I used the shade Bestie and applied it on my uh, crease and also a little bit above my crease. Then to darken it up a little bit more, I used the shade Are You Kidding Me on a different blending brush. This one is by Sonia Kashuk and I applied it on the same area, just a little bit lower. To darken up my outer V and my crease, I used the shade Teddy Bear and applied it using a pencil brush. Then 
Then I went back in with my previous blending brush and make sure everything was nice and blended and that there were no hard edges. Now this is a very time consuming process but trust me that in the end everything will look nice and it'll be worth it. Now before going in with my lid shade, I applied some of the NYX Glitter Primer to make sure everything was going to stay on my lids and that it was nice and intense. And then I used the shade Toffee to apply all over my eyelids, so I'm going to make sure it looks very nice and intense. And I was going for a gold look, but now that I look at it, it's not very gold. It is a little bit golden, but it's not the most golden shade ever, but still it looked very nice and I was very happy with the end result. Then I went back in with the shade Are You Kidding Me and applied it in my crease so that everything was nice and blended. Then I applied the shade Teddy Bear very close to my lash line and then I used the shade Are You Kidding Me to blend it out and to make sure everything looks nice and smoky underneath my lash line. <laughs> then to highlight my brow bone I went back in with the shade Thanks A Latte. And then as an inner corner highlight, I used the shade Crystal, which is a beautiful, cool toned highlighting shade. Then I decided I wanted to wing it out, so I used my Inglot AMC Eyeliner Gel in the shade 77, which is just a black shade. Then I curled my eyelashes using my Tarte Eyelash Curler and for mascara I used the Essence The False Lashes Mascara. Then I used the Colourpop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Get Paid and applied it on my waterline. And then I applied some of my ABH Clear Brow Gel to make sure my eyebrows were staying in place all night long. Then for some extra drama I applied some falsies, these were the Ardell Wispies. And I applied them using my House of Lashes eyelash adhesive. And then for lips, I decided I wanted to apply something red. So I went for the Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Saigon, which is the perfect Christmas red shade. And that wraps up this Christmas party makeup tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I hope you have an amazing Christmas and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!